Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to manually change your IP address. Now you would want to do this in the event that your router IP address was compromised due to a hacker or whatever the case may be and they're sending excessive traffic or to your router or you're being DDoSed, which is distributed denial of service attacks. Um, first, you can rectify this issue by accessing your router's administration, uh, your router's administration page. Um, you do this by typing in the web address um, shown here. Um, it might be three different things. You know, you could change this. It might be dot one zero zero dot one or dot one dot one or dot one zero dot one. Um, but once you get there, typically you put in the admin as a username and as simple as password or it might be nothing for you. Um, and then it'll take you to a page right here. I blacked off some of these information. I feel like it'll be uh, rather sensitive to my personal uh, security. So uh, please just bear with me. Um, nothing will stop you from moving forward. So here you have my router information. As you can see, I'm showing you my IP address for my current router there where it says IP address. So what you want to do is go to the setup wizard, click on no. Um, you want to manually set it up yourself. And but before I do that, let me show you my current IP address again so you can see what I'm talking about. So I go to IPLeak.net. So type in IPLeak.net and it'll bring you to a page that shows you your IP address. You see, this is my current IP address right here. I highlight for you. And as you and as you um, remember, that that's the same IP address that was shown on my router page. So now we click next to manually do it ourselves. And you see again. Here is my IP address. What you want to do is change the last digit of your Mac address for your router. That's it. Just change the Mac address. Just change the last digit on your Mac, of your Mac address on your router and boom, that'll change your IP address. You don't have to contact your silly ISP or your, your internet service provider and wait for them to to change it for you or help you with it or and, and it's so crazy because I'll call them and it takes forever to get a hold of them number one number two when you finally get a hold of somebody they're so incompetent and so unaware of basic internet lingo like I had to explain what DDoSing was. You know, I understand every, the everyday person might not know what that is. That's fine. But if I'm talking to an internet service provider employee, they should know. And if they're not aware, they should be able to lead me in, direct, in the right direction. So then I finally talked to a supervisor, which takes multiple days to get a hold of. He didn't even know what a dynamic IP was. He thought a dynamic IP, when I asked him to explain it to me, he gave me the definition for a static IP. He told me a dynamic IP can change but it does not change <sighs> so crazy but anyway you see after you change your ip address it'll knock you offline right i mean after you change your mac address it'll knock you offline because it's, it's resetting so don't be alarmed that's not, that's normal that's what's gonna happen and it's okay so you just got to be patient just wait a little while you might have to unplug your modem um i noticed for mine i didn't have to do that but i know some people have to unplug their modem so try that as well for a little while and um it's gonna it's, it's, it's gonna be here for a second now here again, I'm showing you, um, you see, once it established a connection, boom, I'm showing you now, I refreshed it. You see the new IP address there. Just that simple, that simple. And I blacked out these, uh, these other, these other IP addresses, you know, just for my own personal security. I'm a little paranoid, but it's not necessary. Anyway, that changed my IP address. Simple as that. I just changed the last digit of my Mac address. And you can see here, that's a different IP address than what we had at the beginning. And here I'm showing you my IP address. I mean, I'm showing you the last uh, digit of the MAC address that was changed. And I'm going back to the basic to show you my current IP address. So boom, it's just that simple. Takes probably five minutes to do. Um, if you know what you're doing, you know, feel free to go back and rewind the video and see how I how, how I uh, arrived here. And if you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Turn on those notifications and we're going to get you right. You no longer have to worry about contacting your Internet service provider. If you have to change your uh, if you if you want to change your um, IP address, you don't have to wait a couple weeks or a couple days. Nothing. You can do it right there in less than five minutes. So. 
I um, figured out how to do it myself. And uh, I just want to save some other save, save people some time. Um, you know, just enjoy yourself, man. Forget these hackers. Don't let them bother you. And just keep doing what you're doing. God bless y'all. Stay safe. And thanks for tuning in. Again, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, hit me up on Instagram, Twitter, and check me out on Twitch for daily streams. Lastly, if this video gets 100 likes, I'll make another video describing how to avoid getting hacked in the first place and what links to dodge. Thank y'all, man. Love y'all.